Has that been shown on a neurophysiological level that the, the receptors there just are tired? Or? Yeah, it's a really, I mean, all three of you make really good points that we get caught in these loops. And yes, there is neuroscientific evidence that, you know, your brain is not a static piece of machinery. It's flexible. And so when you give it more of one thing, let's say dopamine, it adjusts and it can desensitize. And there are data to show that that's true. But, you know, I think, Travis, what you're really pointing to is, we used to think of dopamine as it's this pleasure chemical, it just makes us feel good. But more and more we're finding out that it's really just, it's a little more sinister than that. It's about making you do the same thing. It's want to do something over and over again. And this is something that we see you know, in the extreme in addiction where it starts out as something that you like. We like these digital activities, we're interested. Mm -hmm. But after a while, you get hit with it so much that you start, you have these urges to check and do these things even if you don't necessarily like it as much anymore. So the joy may no longer be there, but the need to do it still exists. So when you're talking about a fast, when do we know that, okay, I, I have My a problem. My fast worked. Yeah, well, or, or well, how do you, you take identify a fast? that you have a problem that you can't take we your We all mind? have a problem, I have... <laughs> No, we don't. I don't need to check my social media, and I don't need to do porn all the time. And I, I mean, I, I, mean, I, 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 mean, I can, I, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can leave it be. I can. Drop it, I know it's there. <laughs> You're cool as a cucumber. Yeah. But, but, but I, think, I think there are two pieces to this. One is the screen aspect, which you both are pointing out very well. But, but my understanding of this dopamine fast is it's not even just screens. It's avoiding foods that are pleasurable. It's avoiding sex. sex. It's avoiding things like even heavy exercise if you love it. You're Stop only it. allowed to sort of walk around and drink water. And to me, that just seemed kind of extreme, right? Like a little dopamine just to keep you going and, seems and like a very TV good shows thing. shows that yeah, you're not Really, you get that yeah. dopamine rush? Movies that may. <laughs> yeah, you know, so you don't. It's only a problem if you say it is. So if you have the right level of porn watching, then okay, not a problem. <laughs> but if you decide that it's you know too much or too little, there are different levels of dopamine fasting. So some advocate take an hour a day, just unplug from the obvious things. But you know, if you're really want to get into this, there's much deeper fast that say you need to spend the entire day, no coffee, no sex, no shopping, no talking. I've seen people cut conversations short because they don't want to get too much dopamine. <laughs> and look, that's taking out of hand. It's missing the point. It's, I think, anything that gives that's us like going a to a break. You're, you're having, that's like you're, becoming a You're literally in the middle of yeah. hey, I can I'm, see I'm you. You're having sex out, with, yeah. with your wife. And five minutes in, you're like, I'm sorry, honey. I, I'm, I only have five minutes of dopamine today. <laughs> We're gonna have to resume this tomorrow. <laughs> but I mean, it gets, fasting is never easy. Even when right. we've talked about intermittent fasting with, with food on this show, and, and again, there are some proponents of it, some people don't believe it's so great, but these are not easy things to do. So is it best to start small, even if you just take 30 minutes? I advocate that um, everyone start small. Just start like you would with anything, an hour a day. And if you still feel burnt out and depleted at the end of the day, like many of us feel, overstimulated by all the pings and the desires and phones and sugary snacks, then you can make it longer and you can go up to a day. And we know from the data that sometimes it takes several days, even several weeks to fully readjust. So the important thing, like you all said, is you, you got to eliminate the really highly compelling things, but you got to find something you still care about or you're just not going to do it. And you know what? Legitimately, one of the reasons I always tell people I love hosting the show, tonight, when I get home, I'm going to sit outside, put everything away, and just sit there. Yep. And, and, and I'm going to try to do it for, I'm going to try to do it for a full hour, and I know it will be difficult, but I'm going to do it. I are, know you I'm with, gonna, are you with me? I'm, I'm with you. Oh, you can't, you've got I a can't, party. I've got, you a got party. You got the kids. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, kids. Okay. <laughs> and you're going to have to engage in social media because yeah. it's a party. No, no, I'm not. I, no, these are kids. It's and like my son's birthday party. Yeah, you're not having, <laughs> so. there will be no dopamine fast yes. during your son's birthday party.